to my door yeah. saying I broke a law. I didn't say you broke a law. Can I see your badge? Your badge is right here. Just it matches the car. And I broke a law. I didn't say you broke a law. So are the, why are the police here? Again, for the fourth time, the police are here because of the fact I wish you get the camera out of my face. You're at my door. I know, but you don't. I would like. Yeah, to I, 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 what, do you, what do you need? What, what do you need? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you need? What do you need done? Do you I need to see the baby or not? Need to see the baby. Okay. Need to see the baby. He needs to see the child. He needs to see the child. All you gotta do sure. is verify. He wants to verify. Verify what? He's telling that the child. You. The child needs to go to the doctor also to be seen. That is what I'm telling you. What doctor? If not, it's child. What doctor? See, see, see hospital, um, because the child. What hospital? What hospital? What hospital? Go to Western Wake. Did you ask me my religion? This is disrespectful. Did you ask me my religion? I didn't ask you Did you ask me my beliefs? I didn't ask you no, you things. just came to my door I making threats. Do. I didn't make threats. Do I have a right to practice my religious beliefs? Do I have a right to do that in America? I'm asking yeah, you a question. So why are you at my door? Because I need to see the baby. You need to see whose baby? Your baby and Miss Stone's baby. For what reasons? Because of the fact. That are you a doctor? I'm not a doctor. So why do you need to see the baby? Because I'm with Child Protective Services. That's okay. All right. Because it's a part of. What job that I do? For who? Who are you? For who? Who are you doing this job for? Child Protective Services. For who? For who? For who? For Wake County. It's on my card. For who? So I, I'm a property of Wake County? Sir. No, I'm asking you a question. Am I a property of Wake no, County? So what do you, who are you doing the service for? I need to see the child because that's a part of my job. Who are you doing the service for? Am I a property of Wake County? I don't think you're a property of Wake County. Okay, so if I'm not a property of Wake County, what do you need to see my child for? I am responsible for my child, ain't I? I still need to see that child. For what? Are you not a doctor? You're right. So that's you're not a doctor. What law is that? Can you, you know, cite that law? You know. Can you, you know, cite that? You said because of the you, law. Right, because of the, They're the law. The child, Can you the cite needs, the law? The child needs to be seen. Can the you? What law? What law is that? The child needs to be seen by a doctor. What law? You're at my door, right? Right. You're telling me what I have to do, right? Tell me the law. It's medical neglect. The child hasn't been seen. What is the law? Like I said, it's medical emergency based on the fact. What of is the, the statute? Child. What is the law? You know, you're just saying you're something off right. your off the you're top right. of your head. Right. I know I'm right. So my thing is, I know I'm right I because you know why I'm right. You do you know why I'm right? Sure, you're gonna tell me. Why is I, I don't need to tell. You're at my door, sir. I didn't come to you. I know you didn't. I need. To why am I right? I need to see the child. Actually, why am I right? Because I know the law. I need to see the child. I need to see the child. I don't care what you need. Okay. I'm not a property of Wake County, am I? Am I property? Am I state property? Sir, we need to see the child. You don't need to see anything because you're not a doctor. Which is why the child. Which is why what? Is you want to take me to court and, 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 and I produce my documentations of what I've done? Do you want to do that? All right, then. Then you set those procedures. In. You present me with some paperwork. You know. You pres you come back and present me with some paperwork. I need to see the child. Lay, lay eyes on the child. The child's fine. You present me with some paperwork. Come back with a warrant. Can we see the child? I spoke my piece, man. You're here talking about I'm breaking the law I and all. You yeah, yeah, you knocked on my you door. You brought the right, police. I need to see the child. You need to see whose child. Is it your child? Is it Wake County's child? Not Wake County's child. Or what's the law? The child. What's the law? I'm telling you, the child. No, you're you're telling me. I want to know what's the law. You don't know when. Yeah. You don't well, know. That's why I want you to, don't know talk, to find out. I want to find you don't, out. What's going I, I don't want you to find out anything. I, I I'm not. Who are you? My car says who I am. Who are you? Car says who I am. All right. Is the child here now? Did child? you hear what I said? I'm asking is the child here now is with the mom. Did you hear what I said? I don't have any more questions to answer of yours. We spoke. Okay. You seem upset. No, I just need to see the child. Okay. My job. She's not here. Okay. Anything else? No, I'm just like okay, no, I need to see the child okay, today. okay. Okay, I need to see the child today. You don't need to see nothing. Okay. What about the paperwork for the child being seen? You said the child was seen. I'm not. I don't have to give you anything. Okay. Okay. 
And like I said, we do need to see the child. You have my information, but I will be back to see the child. Yeah, you come back with a warrant, because next time you come back to my door, it's not welcome. I'm not welcoming you here. I didn't well, call you. I'm not welcoming yeah, you. Yeah, welcoming all, right. You. all right. So what? I'm I'm, child yeah, protective yeah. Services. All right. We have to see all right. the child. When I'm breaking the law, the police will come to my door. You, I don't know who you are. Well, we need to see the child. I don't know who you are. I didn't contact you. You don't have to contact me. Sir. I don't have no contract with you. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't. What are you talking about? Okay. Okay. Well, I need to see the child. And then when I come back. You can keep saying what you the, say. It will, it will be with the police again okay. to see the child. All right. Okay. Well, my name is Nancy Schaefer, and um, I'm from the state of Georgia in the United States. And um, thank you for your gracious invitation to join you tonight. And uh, thanks to all of you who have made this incredible World Congress of Families number five in Amsterdam possible. It's a privilege for me to join you tonight and uh, to be with you in some pro-family uh, policy here. Uh, I will share with you on the unlimited power of Child Protective Services. I served in the Georgia State Senate and after four years of viewing the ruthless and unsparing actions of Child Protective Services, also called CPS, which I will use tonight, I wrote a scathing report entitled, The Corrupt Business of Child Protective Services. <laughs> Thank you. The report cost me my Senate seat. Here's some copies of the report, if you'd like to get one. However, there are causes worth losing over, and this is one. I'm going to, uh, uh, to talk about some of the problems and then some realistic, maybe, solutions uh, for families and children, and uh, maybe look to some steps that we can take. This is not to say that there are not those children in wretched situations who need to be removed. There are, and we all agree. But tonight, I'm talking about those children removed from their homes intentionally for profit. Children are seized unnecessarily from their families due to the federal aid created in 1974 entitled the Adoption and Safe Families Act. It offers financial incentives to the states that increase adoption numbers. To receive the adoption incentives or bonuses, local CPS must have more children. They must have more merchandise to sell. Funding is available when a child is placed in a foster home with strangers or placed in a mental health facility and medicated usually against the parents' wishes. Parents are victimized by the system that makes a profit for holding children longer and bonuses for not mature, returning children to their parents. This is abuse of power. It is lack of accountability. And it is a growing criminal political phenomenon spreading around the globe. Oftentimes, but not always, poor parents are targeted to lose their children because they do not have the wherewithal to hire an attorney or fight the system. Being poor and lacking proper housing does not mean your children should be removed. CPS has redefined poor to mean psychologically inferior. Therefore, it is in the best interest of the child to be removed. Best interest, of course, has also been redefined at the child's expense. It has been reported over and over 
that six times as many children die in foster care than in the general public. Once a child is legally kidnapped and placed in official safety, the child is far more likely to suffer abuse, including sexual molestation and or rape. Case workers and social workers are often guilty of fraud. They withhold and destroy evidence, and they seek wrongly to terminate parental rights while being protected by state immunity. There is a huge bureaucracy made up of judges, court-appointed attorneys, guardian ad litems, social workers, state employees, court investigators, therapists, uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, foster parents, adoptive parents, and on and on, who are looking to the children in state care for their job security. Judges have control over private living arrangements and income of 48.3 million Americans. The United States Census Bureau reported in 2002 that 40 billion in transfer payments were made between households of custody parents and other parents. That money, 40 billion, is under the direction and control of family court judges. In environments covered with confidentiality laws that protect the wrong people. Fathers are victims of this unjust system. Child support payments, even without having visits with their children, are choking the very life out of fathers. Three fathers, of whom I am aware and have been in touch with, committed suicide in the last 12 months because they lost the opportunity to even visit with their children. These are crimes against humanity for financial gain. Rights are removed from parents, human rights, civil rights, and even religious rights. One illustration of what took place in my district is that after so many calls, I decided to call a meeting in one of the counties of my own district. I personally called 37 families that had been in touch with me who had all lost their children, grandchildren. I had them meet me in the library one Saturday morning. We started at 9 o'clock and we ended at 9 o'clock. We had 50 families standing outside the door that could not get in. We didn't have time to talk with them. There was incredible anguish and profound suffering from these families. Some children had been taken off the school bus, taken out of the hospitals, or taken out of their homes in the middle of the night, and even worse. It was just an incredible ordeal. These parents, trapped in the system, become like refugees. They're dazed and glazed and have no one of whom to turn. They do not know what to do, and the loss of their children is devastating. After having worked in this arena for several years, I do not believe that a single child comes out whole after having been in this system. Many foster children make up the homeless population of today. I introduced legislation, Senate Bill 415, in my last session. A substitute bill was written at the last minute by the chairman of the Judicial Committee. All the strong points of my bill had been compromised. I was told, accept it, Senator. At least you will get you let some legislation passed. And I answered with, obviously, you do not know me. I did not come to the Capitol to get legislation passed. I came to make a difference.
what can be done. An independent audit should be called on every state of all Child Protective Services departments. I am in touch with congressmen and state officials, and the door may be possibly opening very slowly. A federal congressional hearing is needed. But let me add, due to the hundreds upon hundreds of cases that I've been called to consider, I placed calls to state senators, representatives in their respective states across the country, asking them to help me with certain families. And I was told if I help that family or if I help you, I will lose my job. Remove, abolish the federal and state financial incentives, and those are taxpayer dollars. Those dollars have been turned, have turned CPS into a business that takes children and separates families for money. Open family court, remove the, conf the confidentiality laws, give parents their rights verbally and in writing. I even feel that to terminate the rights of parents, the case should be heard before a jury. Family rights and parents' rights must be protected. We do not need more influence like the UN's Convention on the Rights of the Child. It's anti-parent, anti-child, and anti-common sense for the family. There has to be perseverance for any great reform, and great reform is needed in this area. As Charles Spurgeon put it, how do you tame a lion that is well-fed? First, he must be brought down. Second, his stomach must be lowered. How do you tame Child Protective Services? It may be only by closing it completely and starting over at the beginning with pro-family values. In closing, let me remind you that there is case law from state appellate and federal district courts and up to the United States Supreme Court, all of which affirm the constitutionality of the rights of parents to actually be parents to their children. There's biblical law, too. It goes like this. Speak up for those who can't speak for themselves, and for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. Thank you.